Welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris, and today I've got a very nice 1955 Chevrolet 210 for you. It's done in a nice red and white two-tone color. All the trim on this car is in excellent condition. This car went through a frame-off restoration, so everything came apart and was put back together. So this car is very, very nice. But we'll go ahead and start up front here. Take a look at that big, shiny chrome bumper there that big shiny grill in the front. I just love the look of a classic Tri-5. 55 is probably by far my favorite year out of all of them, but everything on this car has either been replaced or is brand new or refurbished in some sort of way. As we look down the side of the car, it's all in really good condition. The paint shows very well, has a brilliant shine to it. You've got a nice set of American racing wheels there. As we work our way down the door here, check out your gaps. They're nice and even all the way down. Your chrome mirror is in great condition. All your trim around your doors and your windshield are in great condition. All the glass on this car looks to be brand new as well. Um, as we work our way down here, once again, check out your gaps. As your moldings are on the door here, they're nice and even. They're not mismatched. Sometimes if the door is not set properly, you will have that off-centered a little bit. But this car does not have that issue. This car is on air ride, so that is why it is sitting pretty low like this. It's definitely tucking that back wheel in the back back there. Uh, as we look at the window trim around the back glass here, it's in great condition as well. So this is a 210. A lot of people just look at it and think it's a Bel Air. One of the things that you can tell that make it a uh, 210 is this pillar that runs right here. Uh, the Bel Air doesn't have that. It's just uh, open right there. We work our way around the back side. We'll open up the gas cap here, show you how nice and clean it is in there. But all your trim and your chrome just has a bright shine to it. It's not pitted or anything like that. It doesn't have any scratches. It, Overall, really good condition. Uh, let me grab the keys here. We'll pop open the trunk. Show you inside of the trunk here. It's all carpeted. You've got your panels here to give it a nice clean look. Your battery and everything is tucked in behind that back panel there. And even on the bottom side of the trunk lid here, you do have some panels here just to give it a nice appearance and it looks very nice. I always like to run my hand here along the bottom of the trunk. You don't feel a tape line or anything that's nice and smooth. All your uh, um, rain rails right here are nice and clean. Paint looks really good on it. Overall, a really, really nice car. But with that being said, let's go check out the 383 Stroker under the hood. All right, guys, check out that beautiful small block Chevy underneath the hood there. The back firewall's all been shaved and smooth. You've got some really nice chrome hood hinges there. This whole motor just looks like a giant jewelry box when you pop the hood. It's got a lot of shiny chrome parts under there. Uh, as you notice, you do have an upgraded front drive accessory system there with your AC, your alternator and everything. You do have a really nice uh, aluminum radiator up front with two electric fans, but just overall super, super nice car. This car does come with power disc brakes all the way around, four wheel disc brakes. Your tubs are nice and clean. Just overall a very clean appearance, very simple but definitely looks very nice underneath the hood. But guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the custom interior on this 1955 210. Guys, all I can say is wow. Check out this elegant interior in here. We'll start with the door panels. Custom door panels here with a little pocket where you can put some stuff right here for storage. You've got a nice little speaker here. You've got some nice um, chrome door handles and window crank here. Overall, just really, really nice. I love the custom interior. You've got a nice tan beige interior. You've got that color match dash there that just shows off all the chrome and red paint. But guys, just overall, a really beautiful interior all the way down to the headliner, to the carpet, to the custom center console, the AC vents. Every, every time you look in this car, you just notice something else that's really custom and tricked out. But overall, just a really nice car. You do have a chrome steering column with tilt wheel. Got a nice uh, wood grain steering wheel that just gives it that old school kind of classic feel, but yet the interior definitely screams resto mod. Just overall, a really, really kick ass car. Uh, I'll go ahead and sit in here real quick. You do have your air ride controls here and you do have some digital gauges. You do have an in dash here. Right now the air ride system is leveling the car out. So it does have self level. Uh, you do have a set of digital gauges here that are in red that show you your fuel, mile power, your RPM, your oil pressure, 
uh, your voltage and your water temp and your RPMs here at the top. Definitely give you a good view of everything you need. You have your AC control panel here to control your air inside the cabin. Um, but like I said, I really like the, uh, the AC vents here. Definitely a really cool custom look. But you can control your air rod with this here. You can preset, you have three presets here. So one typically is what I do is for like when you're parking the car, you can hit one, that's your aired out position. Two is gonna be your, you know, parking lot, what I call parking lot cruising. You're gonna be able to cruise through the parking lot nice and low, but you're not gonna be driving at any crazy speeds. And then three will be your normal ride height. And you can kind of play with that any way you want. You could have it where one's your ride height, two's like when you're pulling into like an entrance somewhere and you wanna get a little extra lift and three could just be your aired out. And like I said, you can mix it up any way you want. Typically, the first three is how I like to set it up. You do have a digital clock here as well, but everything in this interior is very nice and plush and new. Uh, you can definitely tell somebody spent a lot of time and money on the interior on this car. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take this one for a cruise. guys we're out cruising in the 55 and this thing drives even better than it looks the air ride on this thing is awesome it feels like you're riding on a cloud just handles very very well steering's nice and responsive it doesn't have a lot of slop the brakes feel good on it the transmission shifts good this thing is just a fun fun car to get out and cruise if you're looking for something to get out and take to the hot rod shows or cruise ins or take the wife to dinner this is definitely the car because the ac blows nice and cold in here keeping us cool you got power windows but guys there's just so much things that i can say about this car but yes you just have to drive it to experience it it's just an absolutely amazing car but with that being said let's get back to the shop put this thing up on the lift so i can show you how nice the bottom side is all right guys got the 55 up on the lift here we'll start up front nice and clean up underneath here you do have your cross member here painted in silver. Take a look at your control arm and your airbag here. Uh, you can definitely tell quality parts. You do have your disc brake up front here. Uh, you got rack and pinion steering. You've, the bottom of your oil pan, it's nice and clean, done in a black. You do have a 700 R4 transmission, so you got a four-speed transmission. Cruise on the interstate, no problems at all. You've got dual exhaust that runs all the way out the back. Your frame's been powder coated in a silver. You do have a four link system out back here to hold your nine inch rear end. You do have a drive shaft loop here as well. Disc brakes out back uh, as well. You've got your airbag system here with adjustability for stiffness as well. Overall, just a really nice build, uh, but super clean under here, guys. If you guys are interested in this car, please reach out to us at 770-738 seven one 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 if you want to see all the pictures and the description that we have on this beautiful 55 you can go to our website at collectiblemotor.com and if you have any additional questions need financing shipping or anything like that we can handle that for you guys just give us a call but till then we'll catch you on the next one